Hello, everybody. Andrea Majeski here with Dental Well Mobile Hygiene. So have you ever been to the dentist or your dental hygienist and they are very stern with you because they're not happy with how the inside of your mouth looks? They might be kind of saying to you, hey, listen, things don't look so nice in there. You know, you need to kick it up a notch. You need to start working hard because this isn't what we want to see. So there might be a lot of plaque, a lot, a lot of tartar. Um, the gums might be bleeding a lot and they might even tell you that you have gum disease, otherwise known as gingivitis. If the, if the gum disease gets worse and, and starts to eat away at the bone supporting the teeth, then that is called um, periodontitis. So if you've ever heard those terms. Now, quite often when I see patients, they tell me like, yes, I've been told I have gingivitis or I've been told I have um, periodontitis, but what do I do? You know, how do I fix that? So they might have been told, but they didn't quite understand how they can make it better. Because the good thing about gum disease is it is completely reversible. Meaning even if you have a bad case of it, it can be reversed. But how? The best thing to do, you guys, is the easiest. And that's to brush twice a day and make sure to floss once a day. Yes, nobody likes to floss. Nobody does, but that's the only way to get in between the, the um, teeth. And that's where gum disease starts. It starts in between the teeth and then it starts to spread. So even if you think you are um, brushing amazing, you can't get everywhere. You need to get in between the teeth. So the best thing to do is to brush twice a day and to floss once a day. Now, as you start to do that though, if the gums are unhealthy, the gums will bleed a lot, but do not be concerned because even think of a, a cut on your arm. You have to clean that out, it's going to hurt, it will probably bleed a lot, but you have to clean it out for it to get better. So your mouth and the gums is the same. Once you're getting things better, it, it might hurt, it might be uncomfortable, and the gums will bleed a lot. But give it a week, even two weeks, if it's really, really bad, and um, there will be less pain. It will not be painful. It will not be sore after about two weeks. You know, everybody's different. Um, and, and the um, gums will bleed less and less. They might still bleed a lot for a week or two, but then after that, it will become less and less and less, and then they won't bleed anymore. Healthy gums do not bleed. Now, if you're thinking, wow, like I'm way past that point, my mouth looks horrible, I don't know what to do, then the gum disease might be at a more advanced stage where it just takes longer to heal. So don't expect your teeth to be perfect or the gums to be perfect after two weeks. It might take a couple months. But as well, your toothbrush can only do so much. If it's been, let's just say, two years since your last cleaning, your toothbrush cannot get it all. Your dental hygienist needs to go underneath the gum line with their instruments and clean away the plaque and charter from underneath the gum line. Because even if you're doing an amazing job above the gum line, all of that infection, for lack of a better word, is underneath the gum still. And that needs to be cleared away first for things to be perfectly healthy. So the best package is to make sure to get your, your teeth cleaned. Let the dental hygienist clean away everything perfectly first. So then you know you're off to a good start and then keep up the hard work at home. Brush twice a day and make sure to floss every day. If your gum disease is more advanced, then I would probably also say to use a mouthwash every morning and every night. Listerine, in my opinion, is the best only because it is antibacterial. There are some out there with no um, alcohol. I believe it's the purple Listerine, but that does help help to if you can't stand that like burning alcohol sensation, right? And for a lot of people, the alcohol isn't even a good thing because it tends to make your, your tissues quite dry if you do not have a lot of saliva to begin with. But if you need help, if you have questions, just let me know. I am so happy to help. But just the main thing to take away from this is it's never too late. If you feel that, that your gums are horrible, or you're in a lot of pain, 
or things just hurt or the gums bleed a lot. Honestly, I've seen it all. I don't mind. I don't mind. That is, that is what I love to do is cleaning the teeth to get you back to the best state of health possible. Because if your mouth isn't healthy, then you're not healthy either. Your blood pressure is probably a lot higher than what it needs to be. There's just a lot of things involved. So you want healthy, a healthy mouth. And your dental hygienist is the first step in order to do that. So